what is going on this evening? Hey, I wanted to bring to you a story, a quick story, uh, that I've been following now for the last couple of months. Um, it re it's regarding what's going on in the state of Illinois. Um, right now, well, as of right now, they got the Pretrial Fairness Act in place. And um, I guess a lot of changes going to affect uh, coming in the first of the year um, with the Safety Act, which is part of the Pretrial Fairness Act. And um, that gets rid of bail, the requirement for bail for certain crimes. And um, again, the um, if you do away with bail for crimes, for particular crimes, Aren't you, in a way, incentivizing the crime? Again, we can say whatever we want. Now, I'm no expert on this stuff. But if you take away something that causes them somebody to rethink committing their crime, because I'm sure if, if, if they're thinking, okay, if I get caught, I'm going to have to either spend some time in jail until my trial or, and of course, afterwards too, maybe. Um, but I'm going to have to spend time in jail. And on top of that, um, I'm going to have to either that or I'm going to have to put up the money and maybe I can afford it or maybe i got to put up collateral or i got to call friends and family to help me out with this. So, you know, but but if they think, to, if they commit a crime and they think to themselves, I'm going to commit this crime and I don't have to put a bail if I'm caught and I can walk away, you know, they book me, they, they take me downtown, they arrest me, uh, they get for my information and then they let me go um, you know, that kind of incentivizes in a way, or at least it takes away one of the factors that would deter somebody from committing the crime. So, you know, I mean, you know, I kind of wonder what, how, what, you know, what kind of increase in crime we're going to see, especially in areas like Chicago. Uh, oh, shit, we messed up. Um, but, you know, again, that kind of remains to be seen. I'd like to see what, 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 what the information says a year down the road. But uh, I do know in New York City, um, a couple of years ago, they enacted, because they said, again, you know, there, there's a lot of pushback that, uh, bail is racist and everything else because, poor people can't afford bail or whatever. And, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with race. It's just my, my two cents, but whatever. And I, in, I believe that it, it incentivizes to a certain degree crimes. And, you know, because it takes away one of the uh, factors that, deters people from committing that crime. But anyways, uh, I have a uh, some information from New York City, and they have bail reform in New York City on certain crimes. You can, um, if you get arrested for certain crimes, they can let you go without you posting bail. And uh, it's interesting, you know, I had the, the information up here. Um, I had the information from what the increase is from last year over the, you know, from this year over last year. And I don't have 2020 numbers because I don't think that would really be fair because 2020, obviously we're in the middle of a pandemic. Um, so I don't think those numbers would be fair to put up, but I mean, you know, we can, and I'm sure the increase would be dramatic. But, you know, and again, last year we were still in somewhat of a pandemic too. Uh, not as much as the year before, but these numbers are pretty big. So, 
and you know, I and I don't think it takes a genius to to look at the the news and seeing that people are walking into to stores and with bags and and, and walking in like the like they own the place and filling up those bags and you know and turning around and walking out with you know thousands of dollars worth of merchandise and. Uh, we want Twinkies. We want Twinkies. And of course, the AOC, they're just, you know, providing for the families and, you know, whatever. I'm sure those, those new ports taste good with ketchup. But, um, yeah, anyways, I'm going to increase this and we can increase the size of this. We can look at, um, okay, here it is. Right here, overall, here, let me increase it a little bit more because my eyes are not what they used to be. Okay, overall, in this crime in New York City increased in July 2022 by 30.5% compared to July 2021. Um, six of the seven major crime index crime categories saw increases. So six of the seven major index crime categories saw increases, driven by a 40.6% increase in grand larceny, a 37.2% increase in robbery, and a 25.6% rise in burglary. And again, guys, um, yeah. Those are pretty big numbers, and you know, again, I'm 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 one of these that um, you know that kind of advocates personal responsibility, and if we if we are taking away the you know things that um, deter people, factors that deter people from committing crimes. And we're saying that things are racist and sexist and whatever. We're we're advocating that people don't have to take responsibility for the choices they personally make. And uh, you know, it's it's a slippery slope if we take away uh, you know responsibility. And I think that's what we're doing overall. You know, we're, we we seem to be de-emphasizing personal responsibility for things and emphasizing group responsibility for things, even if they have nothing to do with something that happened. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, we're living in some kind of upside down universe in a way, kind of like Stranger Things, the upside down world. You know, we're we're not living in a place where um, we people they advocate taking responsibility for what you personally do. Uh, now they're advocating group responsibility for things that you had nothing to do with, and they're taking responsibility away from people that actually do things personally um, like commit crimes or you know um, you know you're not responsible for your life or for being where you want to be for getting where you want to get to in life um, they're have you know you're they're, they're they're telling you that you're not responsible for this because you're you know, because you're a minority or because you're a woman or because whatever. And um, I think we we, we got to take responsibility for ourselves no matter what. And it's the only way we're ever going to understand that we're the only ones that can pull us out of things. That we're the only ones that can do anything about us and our situations. But anyways, guys, I'm going to going to let it go here um if you would give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff and um thanks for watching the video
You son of a- You son of a- You son of a-